Hi, this is Simmer Panu. This is my life page and today we're going to talk about makeup artistry. But before that, so let me give you a brief introduction about myself. I am a professionally qualified corporate lawyer. I went to the Army Institute of Law and I did my BALB 5 year integrated course and um I worked with uh, an international law firm which was based out of based out of London. Some of you might have heard the name of uh, Clifford Chance. I worked for a year but uh I then decided on to pursue my passion that was makeup. I went to the Delamar Academy uh in London, Ealing, which has produced many famous makeup artists who are now working in um sitcoms like Game of Thrones as we all know it. A makeup artist can make or break your day. You need them for your big day, you need them for your fashion shows, your TV, your film, everyone who looks good on TV, on camera, in person. The person behind it is the makeup artist. So So the first point that we're going to cover is genres. By genres we mean different fields of makeup. What do you want to get into? fashion film tv prosthetics 3d and special effects so it completely depends on what interests you the most for me it was um, fashion but uh, i do know about all the others and have trained a little bit which if you go to um, a professional school they will train you in every little field and then you get to choose a specialization so fashion includes all your uh, ramp walks your big fashion shows TV will cover all your sitcoms, your dramas, then there's theater makeup which is again for stage plays, live, very loud makeup. Prosthetics is something like Star Wars. You see all these weird creatures or when you want to turn into like a younger looking man into a completely old sagged looking man. Special effects is again all your action and thriller movies that you see, you know, all of that. The first and foremost is kit preparation. You have to have your own kit. I travel with my kit everywhere and my kit has everything from makeup wipes to cotton balls to Q-tips, um all palettes, my bases. You have to be very well prepared for any kind of clients you could get. You could be doing one person but you don't know what their skin type is if they haven't come and met you personally, especially when you're doing outstation clients. it could be any kind of skin type there could be any tone people look different in pictures and very different in person so i would say to have a range of let's say your base foundations for your clients a range from the lightest to the darkest shade anything could come handy you could get more clients on location and everything that you need from from basic uh, cotton balls and makeup removers you would want setting sprays and eye shadows and blushes everything that you can and you must always update your kit as and when possible and as your pocket allows the foremost is monetary potential once you establish a name for yourself and you're known in the market it will pay you very good the first is training professionally a lot of people are not aware of uh, professional training in makeup artistry you could think you are good at it you can do your own makeup or you've seen somebody do it on youtube but that's not the way to go about it in order to be recognized and reach a certain level and bring a name for yourself i would suggest to pick a makeup school i went to the delamar academy in london uh a challenge could be going uh international is monetary challenges some people can afford it and some cannot but that's not a problem there are many many makeup schools in india in bombay and you could go online look for them and at least get some training so that there is a platform for you to start and you can tell people where you've trained you can, and you can learn ethics of the profession how to handle clients how to be self disciplined and basic 
hygiene, etc. that is much needed for you to be a professional. A Sikh bride in the morning, you wake up at 4 a.m., get ready, look presentable, pack your kits. It should ideally be done a night before, but always check. Get your team together. It's about calling your team, making several calls to the bride if they're ready, getting to the location, setting up, starting the makeup. You'd think you'd be done in two hours, but no. Four in the morning and you're done by 11 a.m., ready to crash. But you've got another appointment in the evening. So you go back, you freshen up, get some energy going and start your next appointment for three o'clock. And it goes on until the night. 